Good morning everybody. It's another day and another bouncy castle. Uh, this one is a midweek one, uh, so it's a birthday party for a child. Uh, obviously the birthday's in the midweek, it's a Thursday. Um, and they're going to be using it from four o'clock uh, after school. But I said I'd drop it off a little bit early in case they finish early. Um, this time of year it's pretty dark around 4, 4.30. Um, so they said they've got lights in the garden so it shouldn't be an issue. But I'm going to leave it with them overnight. There's no forecast for rain so we're going to leave it with them overnight and they can use it late into the evening. It's supposed to be dry. Pretty cold but that's it. You can't really drop it off if they're using it from four and then pick it up at say six o'clock. It's not really long enough. So we, we try and leave them overnight. As long as it's not going to rain and it's going to be all wet the next day picking up, we're, we're happy to do that. And also as long as the, the garden is secure, which I think it is. In fact, I know it is because I've done some there before. More repeat customers, always the best ones. Okay, the castle I need is in here and it's right at the back, that blue one. So I've got to get all this out of the way uh, to get to that one to get it out in the van. So that's what we'll be doing next. Okay, let's go to it. wheels about so I can get it out that way. Okay, straight round and into the van. Right, get a couple of blowers. There's only one blower on the job, but we always take two just in case, for whatever reason, we turn up and something goes wrong. Doesn't often happen, these are good blowers, Gibbons. But it can happen, obviously, and we don't want that. So we always bring a spare, so when we connect up, there's any reason, sometimes you do get the cable in here or break for any reason or is a tear in it you haven't noticed and it will just cut out if you don't have that spare blower with you you're having to come back to base camp pick up another one which you don't want to be doing okay so there's two blowers i'm going to get a ground sheet as well in fact i'm going to get two on this one because the garden's probably going to be muddy There's my bucket, my trusty bucket. My trusty towel, a bit damp, but it's only for quickly wiping down the castles. Again, we might only need the one ground sheet on the job. One ground sheet will cover the base of a, a 10 by 10 castle, but we bring two just in case the rest of the garden's really muddy. We don't obviously don't want the kids running on and off uh, with wet, wet feet if we can help it. Okay, also on this one, we have some tables and chairs, wooden tables and chairs, which I'm gonna put in here uh, I'll put these mats down. Okay, we just need a couple of mats for that. Yeah, I remember they got a step, so the, the castle is going to be quite close to the step, onto a patio area. 
It'll fit on the grass, but the step will be on the patio, so I'm going to put extra mats down um, just for the kids coming on and off. Okay. Right, let's have mats on. Now we're just going to get the tables and chairs. Okay, these are the tables and chairs. We had them loaded up in the car as my son Joe was going to deliver these, but the customer's not come back to us, so I paid a deposit. So, ooh. we're going to take them out and use them in this job. Okay, trolley on, and that's us. We're ready to go. Okay, we've just turned up at the job. Um, I haven't messaged the customer yet, but I'm just gonna open the back gate. I think it's that white one there, if I recall. Uh, I seem to remember that tree being in their garden it was a bit tricky getting the castle in uh, i'm just going to message the customer now and he can open the back gate uh, and let us in okay let's go to it
going to peg it all down now, best we can. Keep it clear of that tree. not too wet because of the tree taking all the moisture out which gives it a better better grip on the pegs in fact I think I hit a root there but that should do oh, a bit concrete there Concrete there and all. Well, we're not going to get anything in. When you have that, all you can do is get it in at a sharp angle. There's obviously a concrete base under here, so we're not going to get it in, but there'll be six pegs in total. Fairly good grip. And that's it. All the pegs in. Give it a good clean over. A little bit of grass, but not too bad. Stain there. And that's it. It's on a little bit of a tilt, but uh, I've got all the pegs in, and the ground is quite hard, so it's not going to tip back. And there's no winds. So that's though, it. Which is a good all thing. set up and done. Okay, that's just done, all set up. Uh, it was, I say, quite a tight squeeze, but we're doing quite a lot of tight squeezes at the moment, and that 10 by 10 is the ideal castle to get them in there. I do have one more castle smaller than that, but it's generally just a little toddler's castle. Um, and it's not really suitable for outdoors in this, this time of year, because it's not got a, a cover on it. So if it did rain at a shower, it would get wet. Um, this is the next smallest one too. It's quite popular, this one. It goes in most gardens, even when it's a bit tricky. We can generally sort of work it in there. So there's the uh, view from outside the garden. There's no wind. It's nice and light wind, which is good for this time of year. Um, the pegs all went in. The ground was a little bit wet, which you would expect, but because that, that tree that was taking all the moisture out of the ground, we noticed it was quite hard, which this is what we want this time of year. We want to be able to the pegs to get a really good grip and that way it's not going to move around too much so there you have it that's us done we're going to go back home now and have a bit of lunch thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one